Art Connect is a group exhibition by contemporary artists Dotu Popola, Shegun Phillips, and Akim Adeleke. It took place at a gallery in Lagos. The energy in this room is infectious. No thanks to a group of contemporary artists who have brought their installations, paintings and other works of art to this space for an exhibition titled Art Connect. First is Dotun Pupola, a sculptor who shot the limelight by bringing the shock factor to the hall any time he exhibits. The audience is usually blown away by how he handles its materials, bringing beauty from what's considered trash. I have five pieces here. I have the lion, which I titled the king. I mean, everybody knows that the lion is the king of the jungle. I have um, Ejanla, the fish. Um, I have um, the kingfisher. The kingfisher is the bird, you know, it is very small, but it features on the big, big fishes. Then I have uh, Ode Aquarium, which I made with my traps. I made with different traps and different bronze pieces as uh, hybrid, you know, uh, it transposes between the junks and the bronze to an hybrid series. So I put those works together combining ferrous and non-ferrous metal, you know, different form of junk that I pick on the junkyard together. So, you know, most, most of my pieces are actually used as a metaphor to, to negotiate and dialogue, create a narrative about my economy, the social cultural activities of Nigeria, and um, to create a narrative of Africa as a whole. Then also, to reinvent and reinform the populace about the folk tales and folklores. I mean, the African folk tales and folklores that are probably going to extinction. So, taking Nigeria as a case study. Although he's all for chiseled wonders, he infuses painting to illustrate the beauty in found objects, hoping to inspire other artists to reinvent how they view this artistic media. I'm inspired by this nation and the nature around me. I'm inspired by situations. I like to protest the issue of waste. So now, using waste as a narrative, using discarded material, to give hope to the hopeless and to also talk about how life can be given to dead situations like dead materials. So it is very important for me to use my work to bring life, to bring hope to, and to use it to communicate to you know, the broken heart. So a lot of things inspires me but I love my work to be a metaphor to the next person. Akima Deleke, an artist discovered in his wee years, brings something softer to the arena. His bold paintings on large canvas capture landscapes with an eye for details and aesthetics. I believe that we pray it from our soul. <laughs> And then I believe that the thought, our thought is our future, you know. So I use this to change the negative minds of Nigerians by painting Nigerian beautiful, you know, kind of with light anyway. And I have a lot of questions about that, that do you think this is really Nigeria? I say, I, I believe I can paint Nigeria in a blackout, you know, and then... I think God will bless Nigeria. He works with several mediums, but his strength is more glaring oil and acrylic colors. His work come alive, making the greatest impression 
as cities come alive. Despite I paint Nigeria in a beautiful way, the fact is that with the stress we always face, I still had it. Likewise, the traffic in my painting, I put more of the traffic in my paint to show the stress people face in Nigeria. That's why I paint the Nigeria, I mean, my city in a beautiful way. I didn't forget the fact in the, uh, I mean, the society is what people face every day. Yearning for more paintings, look at what Shagun Phillips has to offer. His technique, as different as it is unique. My style is called Woodism. If you look at my works, they actually look like um, a wood shaft. Yeah, wood shaft. So you see something like um, putting um, wood, um, wood together to create or form something. But this actually is made with colors, acrylic colors on canvas. These men create magic with their variety of works of art, allowing the viewers a glimpse of the spice of life that art has to offer. We have more excitement for you, but that's when you tune in next time. Coming up on Art House. It's been raining cats and dogs recently, but there was a downpour of a different kind at the Freedom Park in Lagos recently. There's all the two exhibitions where you see a mixed genre of artists, from the old artists to the young artists to the emerging artists to the established artists. Then we take a trip to Edo State for a solo royal art exhibition at the Crown Art Gallery in Benin. I realized my first discipline area of focus is painting. So I started this mixed media works, but gradually I realized that most of these works, if I leave them just with paintings, they're going to end up in the far corner of some homes. So tune in to Art House next time. Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. That's Art House this week. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember that you can play catch up on any of our online platforms. Yes, go to YouTube, Facebook, and be a part of the program. I'm Melinda Kilami. Have a lovely day.